today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! So the traveling astronaut says to the farmer, Hey, if those are my choices, then I'll just stay in the proton hut and milk your electric jelly splat! <laughs> <laughs> Great one, Eddie! That was so funny, I didn't even get it! Oh, the simple pleasure of enjoying a wholesome farm joke with one's friends. There's nothing better in the whole wide sector. There sure isn't. Whoa, hey, or maybe there is. Check it out! Willie and Crouton are back in. Willie and Crouton blow up the universe for the fifth time in a row. Oh, right. Superb! This is just the hilarious movie sequel I've been waiting for. Come on! Four tickets, please, to the next showing of Willie and Crouton. That'll be 28 Crontars. You got it. Uh, would one of you guys mind loaning me seven Crontars for my ticket? Huh? You already owe me money. Besides, I'm kind of broke. I was hoping you'd pay for my ticket. No problem. Douglas, how's about if you loan me 14 Crontars so I could buy Eddie and me a ticket? Really, Lloyd? You can't expect me to pay off your debt to Eddie when you owe me money. In addition to which, I'm afraid I'm tapped out as well. Well, let's see. I have a piece of string, my lucky beak, and pudding! <laughs> that was lucky! Next. Great! The funniest movie to come out in days, and we're too broke to see it! Well, I'm sure there's something else we could find to do. Yeah, we could go to the arcade! Oh, except it costs money. Hey! We could buy ourselves some burgers! Oh, except they cost money. Hey, I know! Let's go to the movies! We can't go to the movies, Kurt, because we don't have any money! What are we gonna do? The only thing a kid can do. Please! Please! Oh, please! No, no, and no. I've already advanced your allowance seven weeks into Tarfuary. No more advances. But, Mom, I'm a teenager now. I need money to hang out in junk. Well, you'll just have to find a way to hang out in junk on your current allowance. But I spent all my current allowance a long time ago. I'm sorry, Lloyd. No more money. End of discussion. Hey, I know. There's always money lying around in the sofa. Aha! And what is this? Huh? Oh, thanks, Lloyd. You found my gum. Someone sure smushed it flat with their big behind. But it still tastes great. Yeah, I need a plutonium reflux infusion and a neutrino converter overhaul for the hyperdrive. Oh, and more wiper fluid. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! After my most excellent leisurely break. Huh? Why, it's my little friend Lloyd! Hey, Lloyd, how come you're dinging in the trash can, man? Hi, Boomer. I'm looking for titanium soda cans. They're worth five crontavos at the recycling center. Choice! Yeah, only so far, all I found is a bunch of trash. Whatever this gray stuff is. Gnarly! Oh, hey, I wish I could hire you as my assistant mechanic, but I can't, because I'm the assistant mechanic. Sure does get lonely in this big empty garage. Ah, uh, thanks, Boomer. But nobody'd hire a kid anyway. I'm too young. You there! Assistant mechanic! I trust my car is ready. We've had a very stressful day at obedience school, and I can't wait another minute. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll go get it. No! Oh, down, Mitzi! Down! Oh, heel, heel, I tell you! Are you okay, ma'am? Yes, I'm all right. It's my precious Mitzi I'm worried about. Oh, she doesn't get out much, and I'm afraid she's a little wound up. <laughs> oh, how will I ever get her down? Here, Mitzi. Here, girl. It's okay. No one's gonna hurt you. Come on down, and everything will be all right. <laughs> yeah! Hey, that tickles. Oh, young man. Thank you so much for saving my Mitzi. You don't know how much she means to me. Here, please, take this pronto for your trouble. Oh, no, I couldn't. I was just trying to help. Well, nonsense, I insist. I'm sure a youth such as yourself could find good use for an extra crontar, am I right? Well, that's true. Thanks. You're quite welcome. You know, it would help my Mitzi to be less nervous if she were to get out more often. What would you say if I offered to pay you to walk her once a day? Pay me? You mean you give me actual crontars just to walk your snip tile? Oh, why not? You seem to have a way with animals. And my social calendar is much too crowded for me to take her out. In fact, I'm due to meet the ladies who lunch right now. Oh, wait till they hear about you.
So what do you guys want to do today? I have no suggestions. Hey, I know. We could go shopping for our favorite musical hits. Except it costs money. Hey, we could buy some comic books. Except it costs money. I got it. Let's go to the movies. <sighs> How many times do we have to tell you, Kurt? We can't go to the movies. Sure you can, fellas. Because today's the day I pay each one of you back all the money I owe you. Hey, where'd you get all that money? And what are you doing with all the domesticated fauna? I'm walking them for a bunch of rich old ladies. And they're paying me. Money for walking pets? What a setup! You said it. We really can see the movie now. Come on, Lloyd. Sorry, Kurt, but they kind of frown on bringing pets to the movie theater. You guys go on without me. I don't know. I'd feel bad seeing Willie and Crouton without you, buddy. Especially with you being such a Crouton fan and all. That's okay, really. Go see your movie. Treat yourself to some radium mats at the candy counter. And don't feel sorry for me. I can always see you later. After I'm done counting all my Crontars. Man, who'd have thought a kid like Lloyd could ever end up with money like that? Oh, I'm not just a kid anymore, Eddie. You're not? Nope, I'm Lloyd Nebulon, professional pet walker. <laughs> So what now? We've got no money, nothing to do. And no Lloyd. It's certainly odd not having his cheerful visage around to lift our spirits. Yeah, I wonder what he's been up to. I hope he's not too lonely without us. Oh, he's not lonely. Why not? Because he's got all those cute furry animals to keep him company. Hi, guys. How was the movie? Oh, man, it was four times funnier than the first three sequels added together. Willie accidentally ionized his carbon molecules in an antimatter acceleration chamber. And Kruta dressed up like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds hilarious, all right. I'm glad you got a chance to see it. So where you been, buddy? We missed you. Oh, I've been real busy. With what? It's just a few pets. Yes, it can't be much of a time commitment. What can I say, guys? Business is booming. I've expanded my operation. You have? Come on in. I'll show you. Welcome to corporate headquarters of Lloyd's Pet Service Incorporated. Whoa, so you've been walking all these pets? Yep, for all this money. <laughs> they know the snacks that money can buy. Uh, Kurt, that's creature kibble. Oh, it's tasty. Goodness, Lloyd, I've never seen such a menagerie assembled in one... <laughs> to say, how did you manage to acquire so much business in so short a time? Word of mouth. A lady at Boomer's Garage asked me to watch her snip tile. Then she told her friends about me, and the next thing I knew, I had all the business I could handle. Lloyd? Lloyd, I... <sighs> Lloyd, I have a message from a Mr. Quagmart. He says he wants his buck-fanged octo-head back by 7 o'clock. No problemo. And a Mrs. Obsidian called about her... About her splenitoad? She says, Stop it! Down, Spunky! Down! Don't worry, Mom. I'll get Spunky off ya. <laughs> That's it. I put up with it till now, but enough is enough. But, Mom, these animals are a gold mine. Lloyd, I'm proud of you for working to earn a little extra money, but I never imagined wall-to-wall -wall wildlife. I'm sorry, but they've got to go. I can't just kick them out. I understand that, and I'm sorry, but you need to find another place for them. Today! Oh, man. Maybe she's right. But where can you keep all these critters? I think I know just the place. Why, sure you can keep them here, Lloyd. This garage is space aplenty. Thanks, Boomer. But I wouldn't want you to get in trouble with your boss. Don't worry about it. My boss is a theoretical life form who lives in the 43rd dimension. He doesn't come around much. Some businessman he is. And I'm not asking you to do this for nothing. I'll pay you. Here's a half a Crontar. That's 50 Crontavos. There'll be another one of those for every pet I bring in here. Whoa, killer currency. I'm gonna need something empty to put it in. Lloyd, what did you pay him money for? He would've let you use the garage for free. This is business, Eddie. And in business, money is what matters. A modest half crontar ensures that Boomer will stay happy. Meanwhile, look at all the space it bought me. Far more space than you'll ever need, I dare say. Well, actually, Douglas, I've been thinking. Pets need more than just a daily walk. They need to be fed. They need to be washed. They need their driller mines vacuumed from their scales. And some of them just need to be cuddled. That's right, Kurt. I've got all this space, and you guys need money. So why don't you all come work for me? I don't know, Lloyd. A job would cut into my hanging out time. Oh, but Eddie, it could be fun. All of us pals working together. We'll be the four Petketeers. Well... Come on, Eddie. What could be better than working with your friends? Business and friendship. It'll be the best of both worlds.
No mouth here. Nor here. You neither. Here he is. I see one of my employees has already brought out your darling Mitzi. I trust she's feeling sufficiently pampered. Great. Mitzi may be an animal, but she's not stupid. She knows when she's being insulted. Insulted? I'm afraid I don't. The boy who gave her back to me, that human, he referred to her as a scrawny mutt. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I'm sure it was just some sort of misunderstanding. You know those humans. Indeed. Not to worry. I'll personally take care of it. I should hope so. It's precisely this lack of professionalism that can ruin a business, you know. Come, precious, let's go home. <sighs> uh, okay. Any suggestions? Hey, guys, we need to have a meeting. A meeting? About what? Well, Eddie, I'll start with you. Where do you get off being rude to our valued customers? Well, it's possible I didn't know they were valued customers. Can we make them wear name tags or special hats or... They're all valued customers, Eddie. Mrs. Maxigon says you called her pet scrawny. Well, yeah, that's because it is scrawny. Well, Mrs. Maxigon doesn't think so. Now she's mad. We could actually lose money over this. And Kurt. Yeah? You had all day and you couldn't even find the mouth on that flabberwock. A simple tag. Had you bothered to fill out the mouth location chart on the check-in slip? That's standard procedure! And Douglas! Yes? You of all people should know, you don't feed kibble to an eyeball retriever. You soak it in nutrient chow. Come on, use your brain for once! Oh, yes, of course. Look, guys, I don't mean to come down on you, but I'm running a business here. Mistakes and sloppy workmanship cut down on productivity. We lose customers, and that means losing money. Think about it. Now here's your pay for the day. Go on home. I'll close up. Well, that was a tad harsh. I feel like I need a cuddle. That guy's starting to get on my nerves. Guys, I've been doing some thinking. And last night, I came up with a handy pet business list of do's and don'ts to make our lives a bit easier. <clears throat> Point number one. When you're shampooing Mrs. Zorkbaum's Shriek Fiend, keep the suds out of the eyes, huh? If it cries, it'll blow off the docking bay windows. Again. Got it? I said I was sorry. Point number two. Hey, guys. Woohoo, what's up? My dad scored free tickets to robot wrestling on Saturday. You want to come? Robot wrestling in the flesh? Oh, that would rock. Yes. How I long to sit next to the ring to feel the spray of motor lubricant on my face. Stadium food. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Lou. These guys are busy on Saturday. Oh, well. Too bad. Hey, what you tell him that for? Saturday's five days away. I've never been busy five days away. Well, you will be. Believe me. Come on, Lloyd, I need a break. I don't want to spend my most important year slaving away for the man. Hey, don't get mad at me just because you're too lazy to get rich. Lazy? I only tell you this to help you become a better worker. You are kind of lazy. And you were rude to my valued customers. Oh, yeah, your valued customers. And here all along, I thought it was our friendship you valued. This isn't about friendship, Eddie. This is about business. Yeah, well, sorry, but I only want to work with my friends. I quit. Good. That'll leave more money for the rest of us. We'll be fine without them. Morning, Boomer. Morning, dude. Heard about Eddie. Bummer. Not really. It was his own laziness that did him in. I abhor laziness. Yeah, and who needs him anyway? I still got Curtin Douglas. Eddie and Sons? any sons? True, but I do treat my employees like family. They don't work for you, they work for me. Um, sorry Lloyd, but Eddie made us an offer we couldn't refuse. One more Krantar per day. I will crush you, Nebulon. Is that so? Alright then, I'll pay each of you two more Krantars per day. Two more Krantars, you say? That's even harder to refuse. Hold up there, guys. I'll pay you three. Make it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Okay. Ten more Krontar today? I can only afford to keep one of you, Douglas. But not to worry. I'm confident you can handle the extra work. Um, thank you. I think. The first day of a brand new enterprise, Kurt, and I've got a very good feeling about it. <laughs> I'm glad you've got a good feeling, Eddie, because you sure don't have any customers. Oh, young man. Meanwhile, here comes my best one. 
Buongiorno, Mrs. Maxion. How wonderful to see you. And Mitzi, are you looking fetching today? Oh, that's very sweet, young man. Now, please get out of my way. Huh? You, young man, you're this Eddie the Pet guy, are you not? You betcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mrs. Maxigon, you're not seriously thinking about leaving our Mitzi with Eddie the Pet guy, are you? He called her scrawny. True, but his rates are so much lower than yours. I presume you've seen his flyer? Eddie the Pet guy, only half the price of Lloyd's pet care? But, ma'am, you're my most valued customer. Terribly sorry, but money is money. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hey, there he is, Eddie the pet guy. Here you go, Eddie. Can you take care of mine? <laughs> Sorry, Lloyd. Maybe you just aren't cut out for business. This means war. Step right up, folks, and enjoy Lloyd and Friend Pet Care's new competitive rates. 50% of whatever Eddie the Pet Guy is charging. That's half price. Friends, don't listen to that boy over there. Bring your furry, fanged, or slimy loved ones to me. Eddie the Pet Guy. I'm good. And that Lloyd guy over there? Well, word has it, he puts your pets to work. Running on little wheels day and night. Turning the giant turbines to power in Trappetville. That's not true. I take real good care of animals. And now I'll do it for only 10% of whatever Eddie the Pet Liar guy is charging. Oh, yeah? Well, at least my pet food isn't made from... Other pets? Gee, Douglas, this is terrible. I've never seen Lloyd and Eddie so mad at each other. Indeed. Working together seems like such an excellent idea. But now look at us. Toured into two camps, viciously competing for customers. This is really no fun now. Spit. Excuse me, boys? Where can I find the pet care people? Right here, ma'am. Eddie the pet guy at your service. We're running a special today. We're looking after pets like yours for free. Free? Oh, my, that is a good deal. But not the best in town. Leave your mouse dragon with us, and we'll pay you a crontar. Oh, gracious. We'll pay you two crontars. Come on, Mousy. Eddie will take real good care of you. Ma'am, he's in good hands with me. Let go, Lloyd. Uh, you let go. Oh, come on, give me the mouse dragon. dragon. Stop, Stop it. it. That's mine. Right. Oh, she gave it to me first. has been traumatized. That's the last time I'll leave him with you, kids! Well, that's the last of them. Every single pet has been returned safely to its owner. And it only took two hours. And every last Crontavo I had. Man, those kids were expensive. Now we're all flat broke. And we'll never have another customer. Yes, I don't care if I never see another customer as long as I live. I don't care if I never eat another kibble. Even if it does make its own gravy. I'm sorry, guys. I guess I was a real jerk. I kind of forgot that the whole reason I wanted money in the first place was so we could hang out together and have fun. 
Hey guys, check it out. What? If I'm not mistaken, I am hanging out with you guys right now and having a pretty fun time doing it. Yeah, and it isn't costing us a crontar. Perhaps, chums, our friendship is more valuable than we ever realized. Perhaps, in terms of true appraisal, we four are the richest souls on Intrepidville. Hey, little business dudes. How's business? Not so good, Boomer. Sorry, but we won't be paying any more garage rental. It's cool. I still got enough left over to see Lily and Crouton 28 more times. I'm heading over to the cinema right now. You guys want to go? My tree. Yeah, Gee, thanks, Boomer. Hey, by the way, can you float me some Crontars? I want to treat my pals to some radium X. Whoa, magnanimous. 